Hi guys, uh, Scott back here with another video today, and today I'm going to do a couple a video on a couple new pickups that I had recently that I didn't get to show, and they come in sporadically, and I just want to do, uh, there's three cards here, a couple of Jeters, a couple new Jeters I didn't get a chance to show you, and the new rookie sensation that everybody wants this year, the first one is I'm going to show that first. You know, I don't pick up a lot of the of the modern players because I'm just more in the vintage. And you pick up these modern players and pay pay big money for them. And then they, a lot of them, they don't make it, you know. And then you, then you wasted all that money. Bellinger is one of them. But hopefully he come back. But I bought a few of his cards, graded, high grades. And he's not doing so good. I thought he was going to be a really good ball player. But anyway, he's a, hopefully he can come back and do well. He was hurt. But, um. But this guy here, everybody's talking about him, so I did pick up a few, and I did show one of his rookie cards before another video. This is another rookie card I picked up of his. It's his Optic Rated Rookie. It's a nice looking card. It wasn't terribly expensive, and I wanted to get a few Wander Francos. I don't got the most expensive rookies or anything like that, but I did buy a few of his rookies just to have a couple. And this is his rookie Rated Rookie. Uh, from this year, 2022, I think it is, or 21, 2021 Optic Rated Rookie Wander Franco Rookie Card. Let me hold this. I hope you can see it. I know it's a little dark. Some of these cards can be dark. But, um, it's the Rated Rookie Optic. I like, I always like Optic. If I go to a card show and somebody has Optic there and I, I see some of the, um, Hall of Famers in there that they put in these sets. I always pick up a few if I can see find them. I've been to a card show in a long time. There's the back of it. Wonder Franco. He's hitting over 300, so he's doing very well this year for Tampa Bay. Good, good ball player. Hopefully he'll make it. He's young. Very young. I think he's like 20. You guys can let me know. I know Wesker Griffs really likes... Is Swan Soto? He's a great young player, and this guy looks like he can be the newest great young player in American League. Wander Franco. And then I picked up two Jitas, Derek Jitas, the great captain of the Yankees. This one is a Fleer Ultra. I believe I believe it's a '94 Baseball's Best, and it's kind of a beautiful design on this card with all the baseballs around them. And I picked these up from the same seller. I buy a lot of cards off this one seller. So, pick this uh, Jeter up. Really nice looking card with the baseballs around them. Of the captain. And these cards weren't really cheap. They were, you know, like 20 bucks. But I liked them. And there's ones I didn't have. So I picked them up. Jeter, of course, one of my favorite Yankees. I'm a big Yankee fan, as you guys know. And I'll show you the back. Nice looking Jeter there. The baseball is one of my favorite looking Jeter cards. It's really nice. Like I said, early card of Jeters are always good to pick up. Especially when you get them for 20 bucks and under. I think a lot of these cards are really, really nice. I don't, I'm trying to see what it says. It's baseball's, baseball's um, best. And it's from... This might be 97 Fleur Ultra. 97 it says now I see on there. But still a great card. It's, it's an insert 3 of 10. So there was insert cards of that one. And this last Jeter is a real nice one. I saw it for different prices and I checked around. And this one I got as a good price. Bowman's Best. I believe it's a 97 Franchise Best. Another insert card of Mr. Jeter. Franchise Best. And, um, really nice looking card. I'll show you the back. Just a baseball diamond. It's like a gold. They said the gold. I don't know if there's a silver version or not of this. But I, Bowman's Best always makes nice looking cards, don't they? You guys probably have quite a few of them. They make nice looking cards. <coughs> Here you have it, guys. Here's my three cards today to show off. Um, you know... Just talk a little bit about baseball a little bit. The Yankees are doing well. My Yankees are, um, they won 11 straight and they lost one. 
Then they won one, they lost one, they won one yesterday. They won one, one nothing the other day. So they're doing pretty good. They're in first place by a couple games. They're playing the Blue Jays now, so that'll be a tough, another tough series. They just played the Blue Jays and beat them, um, I think, three straight. So they, they will play the Blue Jays again starting today, I think. The Mets are hot. They're both teams won 20 games so far. The first teams to get to 20 wins. The Phillies aren't doing so good. I mean, they're okay, but they they need more. I think they need more hitting. I think their hitting ain't that good. And um, also, they lost that game to the Mets. They were up 7-1. They lost 8-7. to seven. That was a torture for Phillies fans. My neighbor, big Phillies fan around here, and, that, and just shook his head. He couldn't believe it. But that's baseball. Watching baseball, football, uh, the draft was held, and I have a, I got the Steelers' new quarterback. I'm going to show that in a new video. I'm going to give that a separate video, and um, the draft was pretty nice. I enjoyed watching the first couple rounds. I hope you guys, your teams did pretty good for yourself. The Eagles, I think, did really good. I think the Philadelphia Eagles did good. They got that receiver from the Tennessee Titans. They were trade, able to trade for a top receiver, which they need. And hopefully the Cowboys, my Cowboys, they they traded their best receiver. They traded him away. And then they didn't really replace him. They got a they in the third round they drafted a receiver and then they drafted a tight end. But they needed a star receiver. They need they have Lamb, but he's a skinny guy. He's not that people think Lamb is a superstar. He's a good player, but they need another they need weapons. Even though Prescott, I'm not really sold on Prescott. They just need some weapons. They don't have weapons. They have Elliott's getting older now. He's slowing down. The other receivers pretty was pretty good last year, but they missed that. They just traded their best receiver away to the Browns, and they got like a third or fourth round pick for him. 